For troops who want to get a big picture of how Juliet Gordon Lowe and her family influenced the entire history of Savannah, the Coastal Heritage Society's downtown museums are definitely the place to begin. But do understand, girls, that the birthplace is Savannah. Professional historical interpreter Brian took the girls from Jupiter, Florida on an awesome, fact-filled tour called the Grandfather Gordon Program. We're going to talk about all those people that came before Juliet who influenced her. Juliet's grandfather was the creator of the Central of Georgia Railroad, which built all the buildings on the tour. And this silhouette shows William Washington Gordon presenting the charter of the Central Georgia Railroad to the General Assembly of Georgia. Okay. All of this is very pertinent uh, to her life and her grandfather's influence on uh, her life. The Savannah History Museum was the railroad's passenger terminal. Here, the girls see the Lowe family carriage, as well as an exhibit about the Revolutionary War in Savannah. And they learn that Juliet's great-grandfather fought in that war. Did this happen before railroads or after? Before. And it's an exciting place for the girls to learn about the thousands of troops who came here from all over the world in 1779. This is the second bloodiest battle of the entire American Revolution fought right on these grounds. The experience begins with an organized march on the open field. Ah, down into the ah. Then breaks into a running attack on the recreated British fort. No sliding! Making history come alive for these Girl Scouts. We ran up this big hill and we went down and we saw where the war was. So we got to like reenact it. I did it! So the march was a perfect example about how the tour guides bring the girls into the tour that they're giving. They, um, you know, they want them to have some excitement and have fun and experience what Alt Savannah is all about. So he picked a leader from the group and she got to wear a hat and um, then he made the girls all line up behind her and then she got to be the guide to start the march and um, when he told them to go ahead and start the march they, they were very ener energized about it. They got to run towards the hill and run up the hill and really kind of get all their energy out so they were really having a good time with that. Now you can see why they had the advantage because as you're marching up this open field, they're all sitting behind this nice defense work shooting at you. You think you can shoot at them very easily while they're behind this? No, especially with the very inaccurate weapons. Next up, the girls move from the American Revolution to the Industrial Revolution. Decades forward in time, but just a few hundred yards away at the Georgia State Railroad Museum, where the girls get a hands-on experience with steam. Here we go, and then yes. We have the steam operation of our steam engine. I got to be the engineer, and I got to work on a real cool machine, which kind of scared me at first because I didn't know what was going to happen. But it was also exciting. Then the girls climb aboard a real historic train for a ride back in time on the railroad Juliet's grandfather Gordon created. Two lucky girls rode with engineer Amy and learned firsthand how she makes the diesel engine run. We went to the train station and it was fun because me and my friend got to sit in the front because we got chosen. <laughs> like many first-time visitors, these girls were surprised how much they liked something that's usually associated with boys. It just really um, got me into trains more. I didn't know that much about trains at first. I didn't know really a single thing. And I got to learn more and it really just help me understand trains more. Well, you can imagine that uh, Girl Scouts are not all that interested uh, in railroads when they first uh, come here, but as we go through the tour and see uh, those connections uh, with the grandfather and, and into Juliet's life, uh, they certainly uh, enjoy it more, and uh, we find that they uh, have a pretty good time during the tour. The Grandfather Gordon program ends with a special badge, which these girls picked up as they exited the train. Yes, the Juliet family tree patch. And finally, a snapshot with the guide. Savannah! Savannah! <laughs> There's no reason your troop's visit to Savannah has to stay only in downtown. There are plenty of things to do outside Savannah city limits, starting with Old Fort Jackson. Ladies, welcome to Fort James Jackson. My name is Sergeant Watson. Okay, I want this line straight and even. Watch your shoulders line with those the person in front of you. I want everybody's eyes to the front. At Old Fort Jackson, you'll be inducted into the Girl Scout Militia. You'll find out what it was like for the soldiers who served here over the years, as you literally march back in time into this two-century-old fort. 
squad. Oh, what? What? Left, right, left, left, left. After some basic instruction, it's time to take the oath of enlistment. To support and defend. To support and defend. So do I swear. So do I swear. Company, present. Arms. And you'll even get hands-on experience learning how to load and fire a Civil War cannon. This is going to go down the bore of the gun, push it all the way to the back, give it a twist, and pull it out. Prime! Five, four, three. Got everyone ready? Two, yes, one. Got everyone ready? Fire!